Hi, aunties. Say hi, aunties. <laughs> um, and welcome again, guys, to another segment of Hanging Out Late Nights. <laughs> so again, grab your tea, coffee, whatever floats your boat, and join us. And um, be with us. Um, I have my little one here, and so it's going to be kind of a hanging out late night, and um, kind of, I'll do, again, I'm going to separate this. There's so much to talk about and catch you guys up on, so I'm trying to do back-to-back -back videos. So if you see me in the same dress, I do change my clothes. It's all filmed, all live, all one time. <laughs> uh, trying to take the time while I have it to do the filming. Um, but say hello, aunties. Hi. This is my little one. And I put this headband on her because she was dressed in this cute yellow uh, onesie. But I, um, I don't know. Sometimes to me, I'll look at her and she screams boy. You know, and I feel like if I don't put uh, a headband on her, that it's, you know, you may not say that she's a girl so I just want to um I'm going to change her right click I can put this out of the way but I wanted to uh do a little tag and I'm going to put this over here these are part of a I'm going to change her into these clothes these are part of a haul that I I did um and these are made with love by place is the name of these um, they were seven dollars, and uh, these were from new from the children's place. The children's place. Um, I'm gonna take this tag off. Um, so I'm just gonna pair these up. This little thing with this, and it's only because of lack of wanting to dig around for other stuff. But I've got some other stuff that I'm gonna show probably separately. It depends on how long I take the changer. But um. Yeah, so she's hanging out late nights with us. She um, was up and about. And I'm um, actually going to change her out of this. And this is uh, going to be a, a tag, actually, hanging out late nights. Um, because I'm curious to know, am I the only one, I probably, I don't think I am, that has a girl? Like, she's really supposed to be your girl. That's what she's supposed to be. But do you have a, a baby that's supposed to be either a boy or a girl? But it looks like, and other people mistake it to be <laughs> the opposite sex. And when that happens, I mean, how do you combat that? Like, uh, what do you say? What's a gracious way of saying, oh, no, she's not a, a boy. She's a girl. You know, how can you graciously, uh, you know, say that without embarrassing them or yourself? in the situation um, uh, and all that say hi so this is the thing she has cloth arms up till here yeah and her little tootsies she's got cloth up until here which is the only thing I don't like so she always has to have long sleeves or whatever the shirts to cover because I don't like seeing that so we're just gonna change her out but um but yeah, do you guys have that happen to you? And how do you deal with that when people think that your baby is something else that it isn't? And what do you do to help them look more like what, you know, you feel they should be? Like, if, for example, with her being a girl, um, sometimes I just don't feel like she looks like a girl unless she has a very cute, girly, 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 extremely girly, girly hat on. Or um a girly headband and actually i don't even like the headband she has on now because to me it's not big enough i feel to see you know like i wanted a big bow so you know ooh, that's a girl that's a girl <laughs> no uh no embarrassing moments for myself and someone else as we both uh grope our way through the embarrassment of saying it's a boy or it's a girl and it uh isn't and I find that, like, she was dressed in that yellow. This yellow, but in the yellow, if you can see here, there's pink in the sunshine. See the cheeks? And then there's even pink here. 
on the Tootsies on the toe part. But I feel like if, if I mean, who's going to look for that? Who's going to say, oh, well, there's that spot of pink that must be a girl. Um, so, but I feel she's wearing, boldly wearing pink. Maybe it may help her to look more like a girl. I'm hoping. <laughs> I don't know if it's working, going to work or not. Um, looking at the time here. It always takes me so long to, um, get him dressed. Let's lift her up here. And she already had a fresh diaper on, so I don't have to change anything or re-diaper. Um, and she, by the way, is an Ashton Drake, which I totally uh, am just lately uh, enamored with some of the dolls of Ashton Drake. Um, and uh, not all of them. I have my one, you know, I'm very picky. I, I don't like something, for the most part, I don't like things that look too dolly, dolly, dolly. But if it looks real, like it could possibly be real, or it's going closer to looking real, I find that I like them more. Um, like she has tons of, I don't know if you can see, again, the sliding. Let's see here. Sift you up to the auntie. Look, you see all those wrinkles and folds in her, in her little feet there? Just tons of wrinkles, tons of folds, tons of um, definition there, which is awesome. And let me see who's her artist. One second. Let me look at that. My little head just flops. And they're weighted pretty pretty decently, too. Um, let's see. She's marked LW. Is the artist mark on there. And I'll have to probably research that LW and find out who that is. But I actually have her and I have... Uh, I believe the artist is the same that did Emily, Emily Comes Home. Uh, if you look at Emily Comes Home, Ashton Drake, and then look at this one, which is, I think she danced or dances. I'll have to look back at her thing. <laughs> I told you guys I'm bad with sculpts. I, you know, once I get them, it's like, I like it. And that's all I know. <laughs> and, um, um, but I'll have to look and see, but I think she's danced, she danced or she danced. Um, she's one of the, um, I guess almost vintage now, uh, because she's not, uh, one of their recent babies. Um, maybe these babies, I want to say were from 2008 or I don't know. I'll have to double check, <laughs> but, um, anywho, yeah, she's one of the ones that I like and I like the way she's weighted and I like everything. I think they could have, um, the gluing of the hair. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> not good. That they can let, let go. <laughs> um, and you know, like I think I sent another video. I wish their eyelashes were different, um, and stuff like that. And do away with all this cloth up here and on the arms, because that will actually let give you more options when you dress the baby. Because I personally, I don't know about everyone else, but I personally don't like to see all the cloth. There you go. And uh, I'm just trying to get these pants on without her being tossed to the left to the right, which is happening anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um, and she's a good size and a good weight, and she has armature in her, so you can bend the arms to some extent and move the legs to some extent, which is awesome. And with her sculpt, they were able to put the armature in, but still make her feel cuddly. They didn't, they didn't lose anything on her cuddle factor. Um, but sometimes that's what I'm worried about is that when they start putting that armature in, then they sacrifice the actual feel of the doll being cuddly to get all the armature, I guess, in. But she's a good, nice size. And um, like I said, I tend to put the bows in so that I can, oh, sorry, so that I can actually make her look more girly girl. So here we go. See, there we go. Here, actually, you can sit up. Yeah, say hi. And these fit her nice and snug, actually. And see, she's got armature in, so her arms can bend or extend or 
you know, what have you. Like they're kind of bent now. Now I could straighten them, which is so awesome. So maybe straighten and all that good stuff. But I just feel, I don't know, what do you guys think? I just feel she can, she can, she has that look that sometimes I think could be a boy. Even though she's made to be a girl and I want her to be a girl. <laughs> You know, there's some that I'll say, okay, if it if it looks like a boy, I'll give in. Yeah, but I'm fighting that battle to keep her a girl, and so if it means putting her in pink all the time and bows and uh, whatever, I'm just gonna keep my best, try my best to keep doing it. So um, say hi, aunties. Hi, everyone. She's got such a nice, good. See how she fills these out. She really fills them out. See, I really fill these out, aunties. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I'll uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I feel my stuff out. But yeah, so she's just a precious, a precious little bundle and everything. But yeah, so that's the, I'm um, babbling and rambling at the same time. But yeah, that's, I guess the question is, um, what do you do when someone mistakes your baby for another sex? And what do you, you know, what do you say to them to, you know, in a kind way and without, like I said, embarrassing you and the person <laughs> um, when they mistake your baby for something else. And then what do you do to help your baby overcome that so that they um, tend to look more like what it is, the, the sex that it is that you want them to look like. Like in my case with her, um, she's supposed to be a girl. I want her to be a girl so desperately, but I do feel that sometimes um, I see in her that she could also be a boy. Um, and I've even had a few people, um, when she wasn't in full regalia with the bow and the pink and whatever, I've had a few people mistake her and say, Oh, he's cute. And I'm like, Oh no. Cause she was in green or she was in yellow, neutral colors, uh, so to speak. And, um, you know, I was like, Oh no, you know, um, no, she's doing good. Or she's, I'll say she a lot. Or sometimes if I see people are, interested in her i will say yes she you know i'll put she in there so that they get the point and hopefully it averts the whole moment of them saying he <laughs> uh yeah but say yes auntie i'm a girl and i like being a girl and mommy's got to get me some bigger headbands and more headbands <laughs> So she's probably going to be just totally, and see, with Ashton Drake, like I said, they, they, they glue down the hair. So she's got the glued hair, but you know, the thing is you could even, and I was even thinking to, and I don't know how hard her head is going to be to root, but I was even thinking maybe, just maybe when I get free time to maybe, just maybe add some hair, some more hair, and maybe even adding more hair may help her look even more like a girl I'm wondering as well. Say yes, aunties. But she's just, to me, adorable. And I fell in love with her impish face. To me, she's just, she looks like a little imp. She looks like, I'm going to get into something. But I love you, and I'm so cute and innocent anyway. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. Take care. And this is a tag, so let me know what you think. Good night.